Hey guys, um, I'm speccing the second spec of my Death Knight back to Unholy, so I figured I'd throw mention to what I'm doing. Um, versus Unholy Command, reduce the cooldown death grip. Yeah, the, the, these basic talents in the first couple tiers are pretty standard. You'll see them in everything. Enraged Pet, Death and Decay, or Death Coil Damage, Unholy Frenzy. Rune of Corruption is very good. Um, I get asked on this, yes, I like how it changes your runes, and I think overall it does give you more damage as opposed to everything else. Uh, magic Suppression, yes, that's standard to get. Um, AMZ, you definitely need an X-Patch. Death's Advance is probably the most important Italian Unholy right now. Um, yeah, this is fairly standard. Now you get your choices on what you want to do. Rage of Rivendare. This is the first thing to mention. It's the only thing that you really see is Scourge Strike Damage. That's all that fucking matters. Um, Festering and Plague Strike Damage is irrelevant. If you're just going to spam Necrotic Strike, it's not actually worth getting. Um, but if you do have a Tier 2 weapon and feel comfortable with knowing how to use it, it's worth getting, even with a Tier 2 weapon. I know people who spec without it. Um, if you do spec without it, you're going to Glyph. Glyph of Icy Touch, which does 20% Frost Fever as opposed to Scourge Strike. It's not that much more damage, but, I mean, this is completely useless because you'll never Scourge Strike if you're spec for, not spec for Rage of Rivendare. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so that's really negotiable. Uh, was I respecting this one? Um, and then you get Ebon Plaguebringer. You only need one in this for the magic increase damage, but an extra point's 15% disease damage, which is kind of arguable whether or not it's worth it. Uh, I personally would take it because even though it's a small amount of damage, I don't think it really adds up to the amount you get from Sudden Doom. So I'd probably look like that if I were to go with that Rage of Ruin there. Um, if I was going to go with it, I would take, I think I'd go 33 points in Unholy. Eh, something like that would probably be the option, or there. Um, the standard is probably this, with your Splash Over Talents going into Frost for Lichborn and Endless Winter. It's not necessary to get Endless Winter, although I find it amazing. Um, I hate not having Ruin Power Rage for an Interrupt. Uh, with that being said, Death Knights have gotten really squishy, so I hear rumors of if you can't survive start playing with this spec until you get used to surviving. Because um, if you can't survive with this, there's something definitely wrong with the class because this is the most defensive build you can possibly get. So, we'll see. That's that's possibly the most defensive. 10% reduced melee damage, 6% damage reduction. Gaining more damage when getting hit if you're just getting trained like no other. Um, so it's really... I'm not sure if it's worth taking all of it, but... Yeah, that's kind of what my thoughts are on this so far. Uh... I think I'll just spec this one with Outrage. I'll go with this for now. I'm um, just... What the fuck? I feel like I am missing talent points somewhere. Oh, there we go. I think that'll, that's how I'm going to put my second Unholy spec is Necrotic and Reduced Damage build. We'll see how that works out if I do War Games anytime soon. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Glyphs... Let's see. This one still has Frost Glyphs in. Um... Glyphs are pretty fucking standard. There's a couple of options. These three are mandatory. Glyph of Death Coil, Glyph of Raise Dead, and Scourge Strike. If not Scourge Strike, it's Icy Touch. Those are set in stone. Strangulate and AMS are probably... You're probably going to always keep those two in. If you're not trying to land it on cast and only need a blanket strength for whatever comp you're running, you can possibly spec out of this. Or if your strength's always on DR, maybe PhD. Not sure if that's even worth it myself. Um, and then your excess glyph goes to either death grip range or chains of ice. Nothing else in here actually does anything. <laughs> Definitely not pestilence. And then minus really don't fucking matter. Just get resilient grip. And everything else doesn't matter at all.